And it is race day, let's meet the competitors. Coming in at 10 centimeters in diameter and a whopping 740 grams. He's round, he's blue, he's ball. Our next competitor, our lightweight, coming in also at 10 centimeters in diameter. At 210 grams, it is ring. And finally, also at 10 centimeters in diameter and 530 grams, it is disc. So participating in the race, we have ball, ring, and disc. Three, two, one, go. Well, if we check the footage, we can see that our champion is the solid sphere, followed by the disc. Uh, and followed in distant third place by the ring. Uh, so just to kind of play that toggle through and play it one more time, you can see as I uh, after I let it go, the uh, sphere takes the lead. It accelerates down uh, quicker than the disc, uh, followed finally by the ring. Just in case anybody wants to use this for a little uh, experiment, one thing I can do is each one of these frames is a 30th of a second um, apart. Um, and so if I um, advance through, so that you again, one thirtieth of a second apart. Um, so if I go up um, six frames, right, that would be a fifth of a second. Um, so if we just find the frame where I'm about to let it go, there they start moving. Okay, so we'll say this is frame uh, zero, like time t equals zero. Um, and then if I go up, every time I go up six frames, that'll be a fifth of a second. So here's uh, zero seconds, and then let's go up one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one fifth of a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two fifths. One, two, three. three fifths. Four fifths. That is uh, exactly one second. That is one and one fifth of a second. That's one and two fifths of a second. And that's finally one and three fifths of a second and just the ring is on there. Uh, so if anybody wanted to pause that and use it for some uh, data to keep track of how these things moved um, against these blue lines that are uh, centi uh, 10 centimeters apart. So. Um, the end of the stick would be at zero meters and then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So you have a nice set of data there about uh, the position of each object as a function of time. Uh, so uh, maybe you want to do a little ex experiment with that in your physics class.